It's your open source advocate and I'm back with another video and today I wanted to talk about music tagging. So in the past I've covered a couple of applications that will let you actually host your own streaming music. I apologize for any noise in the background. There is some construction going on so if you hear that uh, try to ignore it. I'm going to. Uh, but I've talked about some streaming applications for hosting your own music and streaming your own music and streaming it to your devices, of course, which is a really great thing when you're on the go or you want to have your headphones on. When I mow the yard here, it's, I have a big yard and it takes me a long time, so I love to put on my headphones and listen to music while the mower's going just to drown out the noise of the mower. It's probably not any better for my ears, honestly, than the noise of the mower, but at least it's something more pleasant to listen to. Uh, but I, I love having that uh, control over my own music and there's some really great applications so right now I'm testing out Jellyfin and their their mobile app which seems pretty good but one of the things I noticed is uh, none of my music was identified by Jellyfin in the background so I'm trying to update my tags and what I wanted was something that I could run to help update my tags and run it on my server um, something that didn't have to have a GUI because I run a, a headless server with no GUI. So I was looking for something originally with more of a web interface, but I didn't really find anything. And I came across this really cool project called Beats, B-E-E-T-S. So it's spelled like the vegetable, the beat, not the actual beat of music, but it's pretty cool. And I wanted to share it with you guys. It's actually pretty easy to get installed. So I'm using Ubuntu. Uh, so out of the gate you need to basically install it and there is a repository already in the apt repository I believe arch also has it in their repositories and there's several other repositories, but I will say there is a caveat So right now it's waiting on an update because it does use Python 3 It says Python 2.7, but if you're using Python 3 is, is what you're looking for um, And you need to use something like Python 3.6 specifically So right now if you don't have Python already installed and it's a and it's a kind of 3.6 Six version 3537 you're gonna run into issues when you try to run beats because it's not going to be able to run it's gonna hit some some errors so I kind of want to show you that and, and how it works but first I want to go through the install process I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers and all of my patrons over at patreon seriously you guys make this so worth it for me to do these videos every week I really truly enjoy it and I just can't say thank you enough if you're enjoying these videos subscribe let YouTube know that I'm doing a good job by subscribing to the channel, plus you'll get notified when I have new videos coming out. And finally, if you're enjoying what I'm doing, give it a like, just click on that thumbs up, and that way YouTube knows that you like it, and they'll pass it along to other people that might enjoy my content as well. I really appreciate it. Thank you again. Let's get started. So I'm going to use my local machine here. Let me get up a clean terminal uh, real quick because I'm logged into my uh, background machine here uh, where I'm actually updating the music files. So I want to show you guys first how to install this thing. So I've already got Python 3 installed, but I don't know that I have the right version of Python 3. So the easiest thing to do is to just install Beats and figure out if I've got it. Now one of the ways you can install it is using pip. So this is the Python installer um, for, for plugins or projects or, or things like that that are built in Python. Um, so you can use pip3, in this case it would be uh, pip3 to install this, and then install. And let me make this text a little larger. So you would do pip3 install b-e-e-t-s. -E -E so pip3 install beats. This is gonna ask you, do you wanna do this? Um, or it may just start the installation. Yeah, there we go. So it's gonna install beats, and it's gonna come down and say, hey, we've got, we've got beats installed, and here's a few of the things that it installed with it, uh, jellyfish and, and a, few other, a few other items here. Um, and it says that it put it in the wheel group for me. So this is pretty easy. And if you get this kind of result, this may just work for you. Um, so we can just try something simple here, beat import. And then we need to give it a path to some files that have actual media on them. So if I, th I think if I go to slash home, you can just do tilde slash uh, music, I think. We'll see what it does here. So this is the error that I'm talking about. So you get this error that says value error node can't name node can't be used with none constant. So this means that my my version of Python is a little bit too new for beats to be able to use it. Okay, no big deal. One of the things you can do if you install it through the pip method is look up here and figure out where did it install beat. Uh, so you need to find this one right here, and we're going to go and we're going to 
edit that file. So we're just going to go to, um, let's see where it said, just to make sure, local bin, uh, dot local bin beat. So we'll do nano dot local bin beat. And right here you see where it says in this top line, uh, Python 3. We're going to change this to Python 3.6. We're going to just save, and that's Control O, and then Enter, and then Control X to exit. And now if we do that same beat uh, import, it's going to tell us, hey, I don't have this version of Python that you're talking about, so we need to get that version of Python. So that's kind of the next part that we need to do. So to get that version of Python, there's a PPA out there, um, at least for the Ubuntu side. So if you need to do this for Debian, for other things, you have to kind of look up the instructions on how to get a different version. You can, of course, just go get it and build it yourself. But in this case, the PPA was really easy for me, so that's kind of the direction I'm gonna go. But you need to install this, this 3.6 version of Python. And unfortunately, you can't just do sudo apt install Python 3.6 um, unless you install this PPA first. So um, let's just go grab that. So in order to get this, we're just going to go and we're going to use this command that sudo add apt repository. That's add hyphen apt hyphen repository space ppa colon dead snakes slash ppa. So we're just going to take that. We're going to hit enter. I'm going to put in my super user password and it's going to come down and it should say something like this and you'll see where it says press enter to continue or control C to cancel. So if you want to, if you want to cancel out of it, just hit control C, otherwise hit enter. And it should grab that uh, repository and add it, and then it's going to refresh your apt repositories for you, or it should if you have a newer version of uh, Ubuntu running. If not, you can do sudo apt update. So if you didn't get that refresh automatically, you can do sudo apt update like this and just let it update. It's just going to run through the same thing it just did for me, but you may need to run that command just to get it to update. And then you're going to do sudo apt install python. 3.6 in this case is what we want. So we're going to hit yes here. We're going to let it go and install Python 3.6. Now the nice thing is Python 3 is still going to be linked to the newer version of Python that we have, which is great. But Python 3.6 we can call out specifically by name, which is what we did in that beat file. So that's one way to fix that problem, and now you can run your beat import uh, process, assuming you have all of the uh, plugins and things that you need from the pip install. To uninstall it, we do pip3 uninstall beats, and then it's going to show us all the things it's going to install. We'll say yes, and now we're going to go back and do the apt install. So we'll do sudo apt install b-e-e-t-s, just like that. And we can even put hyphen y if we don't want to be prompted about it. It'll go through, it'll grab all of the same things, and it's going to just scroll down here. So now that we've got that installed with apt, we're just going to try to rerun this command. So we'll just go here and hit it. And you see we get the same issue, but that's because apt installs it in a different location. So we just need to go edit this file the same way we did a while ago. So we're just going to do nano and then that location and probably do sudo nano in this case and again we'll just change this to from 3 to 3.6 save it with control o exit with control x and then we'll rerun our import command here and now you can see that it wants to do something and it's bringing up my outgoing firewall i'll just tell it this is fine and it wants to know, it says, so I found six tracks, but I couldn't identify them as an album or anything. So I'm going to tell it. So you've got these options. You can say skip, use them as is, which means just leave them alone, or try to identify them as tracks, try to identify them as group albums, try to enter, you know, search basically, um, and then enter ID or abort. So you've got these highlighted letters here that kind of tell you how to select these different things. So this all runs through the terminal, which is great because it's running on a server uh, normally where I want to run this. So I'm just going to, this is running locally, but I'm going to show you what's happening on my server in a minute. So I'm going to do T for tracks. I'm going to do a capital T. So it identifies just the two of us and it's saying, okay, I'm not really sure what this thing is. And it says no matching recordings found. And it's, at, it's saying like Grover Washington is probably what it is, but it's not sure because it's, it's just grabbing the information. It's like, I, I don't know what to do with this thing. So in this case, I can just say skip this one or use as is. 
Um, this is a cover. That's one of the reasons these are all covers. So it's probably not going to find anything. So again, I can just say use as is. Now this one had actually found, uh, you know, a couple of things here. This item is already in the library. Um, that's fine. Okay, so we'll just say skip. But I'm going to go to my other terminal and show you real quick what's happening. So here, let me let me enlarge the font again for you guys. So here you can see this one I've got Belle Biv DeVoe, uh, Poison is the name of the song. So it kind of gives you these options, one, two, three, four, you know, and it tells you here's here's the percentage match that it feels sure about it. Normally number one is going to be the one you want. You don't have to pick another one. Um, you can also say just use as is if it didn't identify it correctly, but I'm saying number one. And it's going to move forward here and it's going to say, do you want to apply it? So I'm going to say A for apply and it's going to make that change. And it's going to continue through my through my stuff. So as it finds things that it's just like I can identify this, I don't need your help. It just does it. It doesn't ask me to to help in any way. It just keeps going. And then it'll find one that it's like, okay, I found something that I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to be. Let me ask you what it is. Um, and in this case, I believe this is yeah, this is uh, the number two. No, number one. Uh, is the correct option so again it identified the right thing so I can just hit number one and a for apply and then it's going to continue and right off the bat it gets the next thing so number one and you can just hit enter I believe because number one is the default um, and then apply and it's going to continue going through this uh, system of music that I've got that's poorly named and has terrible tags on it um, so again number one and apply and a lot of these that it finds automatically, I'm just really shocked that it finds them and it doesn't even have to ask me, but it does a really a tremendous job. But occasionally it does find something where it's like, okay, I need to make sure that this is the right thing that I've identified here. Are you sure this is what you want to do? Um, in this case, I'm just going to say apply. This looks okay to me. Let's see. Yeah, this is a, this is a podcast, so I'm just going to say skip because it's not going to identify that correctly. Same thing. I'm going to say use as is for this one for the Allman Brothers because I don't know why it's not identifying that. Um, let's do search. So you can see there with the search, it wasn't too hard to come up with the correct option, which is now number one. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit one and apply. And let's see. This is another one where it's again just a, a cover uh, from another group, so it, it's hard for it to get uh, sorted correctly. So I'm just going to leave it as is, and I'll just put use as is. And there's going to be a few of those that come up. Uh, So here's one that again is a valid song, but it doesn't find it just because of the way it's set up in here. So again, if I do uh, enter to search, I can put in Kansas, carry on. There we go, carry on Wayward Son. So it was correct in the first place, but it's Kansas. So there's number one, we hit enter. So you can see, you can do a little bit of searching. You can do a little bit of uh, looking around and find the right uh, things that you want. And then it's going to go through and find those things. So we, we should be set uh, and everything should be good. So this is really the, the main part of what I was looking for from Beats, which is great. I love it. It's using Music Brains in the back end to go do these searches and things like that. But it's just a nice CLI tool that makes it really easy. I don't have to have a GUI front end. I don't have to have a web front end. And it's pretty simple to go through. And it does a pretty good job of identifying most of the music. Again, it'll depend on what kind of tags you already have. If you have covers of songs, things like that. Um, finding those albums may be a little bit more tricky if those aren't bands who put out actual LPs and things. But... Overall, I think it's a really great tool. I wanted to share it with you guys. If you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, tell your friends about it so they can come along on the journey with us, and I'll talk to you next time. I wanted to tell you real quick about the contest that I'm having coming up. It's going to be a giveaway, and this is the kit that I'll be giving away. It's going to include a Raspberry Pi 4, 2 gigabyte, the, uh, the case for the Raspberry Pi 4, a 64 gigabyte SSD pre-installed with Home Assistant, uh, the heat sinks for the Raspberry Pi 4, and the HDMI to micro HDMI cable, a Shelly 1 button. It will be in the box. So this is just one that I own. 
as well as four Shelly Duo bulbs. So I hope that you'll join up, uh, try to get registered for it. You're going to use the Rocket Chat site that I have on discuss.opensourceisawesome.com, and I'll set up a special channel that you'll just have to become a member of that channel, and then I'll pull your data, and I will randomly choose some people here in a few weeks. Yeah.